How you doing everybody? My name is Dr. Sami Baya. Please welcome back to my YouTube channel. Objects in the house that attracts witches. Remove them now. That's the title of this video. So I'm giving you a comprehensive discussion about various household objects that are often believed to attract witches along with why they might be considered problematic and what you can do about them. Keep in mind that this is based on folklore and superstitions and many of these beliefs may not have any basis in reality. Thank you. Number one, mirrors. In many traditions, mirrors are thought to be portals to other realms or dimensions. The reflective surface is believed to invite supernatural beings, including witches, into your home. To avoid this, some suggest covering mirrors when not in use or placing protective charms around them. Number two is old books, especially those with occult or mystical content. Old books are sometimes seen as conduits for magical energies. If you have such books and wish to avoid any unwanted attention, consider storing them away or giving them to a library or charity. Number three is antique furniture. Furniture with a long history may carry residual energies, including those associated with witchcraft. It's advisable to cleanse these items regularly with sage or other purifying rituals if you are concerned. Number four, candles. Candles are often used in magical rituals and can symbolize the summoning of spirits. To mitigate concerns, use candles sparingly and never leave them burning unattended. Number five is crystal balls. Crystal balls are iconic in witchcraft law used for scrying or divination. If you are worried about attracting unwanted attention, consider storing crystal balls away or using them solely for decorative purposes. Pentagram symbols. The pentagram is often associated with witchcraft and its presence in a home might be seen as an invitation for magical activity. If this is a concern, you might choose to remove or replace items featuring this symbol. The dark or gothic decor. Items with dark or gothic themes might be, viewing, view, might, might be viewed as aligning with witchcraft aesthetics. If you are uncomfortable with this, consider switching to lighter, more neutral deco. Number eight is herbs and potions. Herbs used in magical practices or potions can be seen as attracting supernatural forces. Store such items in a secure place and ensure they are not displayed prominently. Ouija boards. Ouija boards are famously, famously, famously used for communicating with spirits and they are thought to attract supernatural entities. If you own one, it is best to store it securely or dispose of it if you are concerned. Number 10 is old mirrors. Mirrors that are old or antique are particularly associated with mystical properties. If possible, replace old mirrors with new ones or ensure that any old mirrors are thoroughly cleansed. Number 11 is altar items. Items used for ritualistic purposes like ritual knives or chalices may be seen as attracting magical attention. If you have such items, keep them in a designated area and ensure they are not used inappropriately. Then there's the black cat figurines. Black cats are often associated with witchcraft and superstition. While having a black cat figurine might be purely decorative, if it causes concern, consider placing it in a less conspicuous location. Number 13 is tarot cards. Tarot cards are used for divination and can be seen as inviting mystical forces into your home. Store them securely and handle them with respect if you wish to avoid any negative connotations. Then there's the moon faces deco. Decorations featuring moon faces might be linked to magical practices. If this is a concern, opt for neutral or non-symbolic deco. Then there's the witchcraft books. Books specifically about witchcraft or magic might attract unwanted attention. If you are uneasy about this, consider removing these books from your home. Number 16 is herbal sachets. Sachets filled with herbs used for spell work could be viewed as attracting magical energy. Store these items securely and ensure they are not easily accessible. Number 17 is antique jewelry. Jewelry with historical significance might carry energies or associations with past practices. Cleanse any antique jewelry regularly or store it away if you are concerned. 
Number 18 is sacred symbols. Items featuring sacred or occult symbols may attract unwanted attention. Ensure that any such items are used respectfully and stored appropriately. Number 19 is dark curtains. Dark colored curtains might be associated with secrecy and magical practices. Opt for lighter or more neutral window treatments if this is a concern. Number 20 is personal altars. Personal altars set up for spiritual practices might be viewed as invitations to supernatural antics. If this is a concern, keep your personal altar in a private area. Number 21, wishing wells. Decorative wishing wells might be associated with magical practices. If you have one, consider removing it or repurposing it in a non-mystical context. Then there's the magic ones. Magic ones are symbolic of magical power and might attract attention. Store any such items securely and use them with discretion. Number 23 is occult art. Art, art featuring occult themes or symbols might be seen as inviting supernatural forces. Consider replacing or relocating such pieces if they make you uncomfortable. Then number 24 is familiar objects. Items associated with mythical creatures like familiars, e.g. owls, Bats might attract magical attention. If this is a concern, choose decor that does not have such associations. Then number 25 is ancient texts. Ancient or historical texts on magical practices might be seen as inviting supernatural entities. Store these texts securely and handle them with care. Number 26 is mystical globes. Globes or orbs associated with magical practices might be viewed as conduits for supernatural forces. Consider keeping such items in a less conspicuous place. Then number 27 is ritual implements. Implements used in rituals like athames or wands should be stored respectfully and out of sight if they cause concern. Then there's a scrying mirrors. Mirrors are specifically used for scrying or divination. May attract attention. Ensure they are stored away and used with caution. Then number 29 is magical herbs. Herbs known for their use in magical practices should be stored securely and not left out in the open. And finally, the occult symbols on clothing. Clothing featuring occult symbols or imagery might be seen as attracting supernatural attention. Choose clothing without such symbols if you are worried about this. Now, each of these items that I've discussed in this, vibe, in this, uh, in the, in this video is in the context of folklore and superstition. If you find that they are causing you discomfort or concern, it might be worth considering adjustments in how you manage and display them. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so, all right? If you're watching this video and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, spare a second or two and smash that subscribe button. That way, every time I upload a video, you get notified about it. Thank you.